Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to swap an image on Hover in Squarespace. So thank you to everyone who messaged me about this effect. effect. So thank you to everyone who messaged me about this effect following on from me reveal text on image hover video that I put out. I'll leave a link to that up in the top. I received that many messages asking for an image swap video that it made sense to make this now. So first off, we need to prepare our images for the effect. I've got two here and you can see that the different sizes, different orientation, and on closer inspection, you can see the massively different in pixel size too. So we need to make these the same orientation and the exact same size in pixels. So same height, same width. If we don't do this, then we get this weird shift in size when we hover over the image. If you're fine resizing your images using Photoshop or Canva or whatever else it is that you use, then I'll leave a timestamp in the description to jump straight to the Squarespace part. So I'm going to use Canva for this because we can do this using the free version. If you haven't got an account with them, you'll need to sign up first. And I'll start by going to create a design and then I'm going to select custom dimensions. And I want to make this square, so I'll go 750 by 750 pixels. Obviously, you can make this whatever size you want, but bear in mind you're making images for the web, so you want to keep your file size small, so don't be going 20,000 by 20,000 pixels. Click Create a Design. Then if we go to the Uploads tab and drag our images in. And then we can drag our first image onto the canvas and position it however you want. Once you're happy with the crop, over to the top right and hit the download button. And then we can save this as a JPEG. Then you'll need to repeat this process for the second image. And now we've got our two images exactly the same size. Okay, next we need to dive into Squarespace and the template I'm using is Mohav, Mojave, which is a Brian family template, or as it's often incorrectly referred to, Brian. But this will work on any template as well as in Squarespace 7.1. So we need to upload the two image files to Squarespace first. So if we go to our custom CSS. And then manage custom files. And then we'll drag our images into the add images or font section. Annoyingly this has to be done one at a time. Next we need to get the URLs of these two images. So if we click in the CSS editor. And we'll have to expand Manage Custom Files again. Click on the first image and you'll see that the URL has gone in. And I'll make some space between these so we can easily differentiate between them. Need to expand Manage Custom Files again. Click on the second image. And hopefully you won't get a text message from Jack while you're in the middle of doing this. So I'll highlight the two URLs and take a copy. Command C or Control C on a PC. And then I'm going to delete the URLs from the CSS editor and hit save. And then I'm just going to paste these into a text editor now. We'll come back to these very shortly. Next, I'm going to go to the page where we're adding the effect and I'm going to drop a code block in here. And then in the code block, we'll go left angle bracket div space class equals quotation mark. I'm going to call this image hyphen swap quotation mark right angle bracket. And then in between these tags, we'll add left angle bracket IMG space SRC equals quotation mark quotation mark right angle bracket. I'll take a copy of this image tag and paste it in again below. Next, we need to grab our image URLs again. So whichever image you want to appear first, we'll copy that URL and paste it between the first quotation marks and the image tag. And then again for the second. And hit apply. And you can see we've got the two images stacked on top of each other now. So next we're going to add some CSS to place the top image in front of the bottom one and then drop the opacity on the top image on hover. To do that, we'll go back to our custom CSS and I'll go dot image hyphen swap space IMG colon nth hyphen child normal brackets. And then in the normal brackets, we'll go one. Come outside of them brackets, left curly bracket, and then in between the curly brackets, we'll go position colon absolute semicolon. So what we've done there is place the first image on top of the second one. Now we just need to tell the top image to become invisible on mouse over. So back in the CSS editor, I'm going to take a copy of everything we've just put in and paste it in below. I'm going to remove position absolute. And also immediately after the one in brackets, I'm going to put a colon and hover. And then inside the brackets, we'll go opacity colon zero semicolon. 
and you can see we've got the images swapping on over now so next i'm just going to add the transition to make the swap a little bit less harsh so in the first part under the position absolute line we'll go transition colon 1s semicolon and you can see that the transitions are a lot smoother now you can also change this transition speed to whatever you want so we can speed it up by changing it from 1s to say 0.5s and that's how we swap an image on hover in squarespace so as always thank you ever so much for watching i hope you found this video useful if you did leave us a thumbs up below if you're not already consider subscribe if you're not already consider subscribing to see more squarespace related and hopefully i'll see you in the next one see ya